let's take a look at the problem. Which expression is equivalent to this for all positive values of k and r? And again, I've given you a little snippet. Forgive me. I've given you a little snippet of what you see on your EOC star formula chart. You've got power of a power and you've got rational exponents. Let's see if we can apply that to this problem. I'm going to start by using a power of a power. Now, power of a power tells us we should multiply those powers together. You may say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, you see how these powers are being raised to another power? So what we're going to do is we're going to split this up. I'm going to have 144 to the 1 half power. See how I had the 144 here, and I'm going to give it the half power. Then I'm going to have k to the second to the 1 half power, and then I'm going to have r to the 14th to the 1 half power. So let's then take our power to a power. Well, we'll leave the 144 for now. We'll come back to it. Now I've got k to the second to the 1 half. Remember, that means we multiply those together. 2 times a half. And then we've got r, and I've got 14 times a half. Okay, we'll go ahead and multiply those together. I've got k to the 2 times 1 half. That's k to the first. And then r, 14 times a half, gives me r to the seventh. Now, you can easily see, friends, I can go ahead and mark out g and j. I'm down to two answer choices. Love those test-taking strategies. So now we use our rational exponent. I want you to notice that the bottom of the fraction becomes the root. So that means I've got a 2 with a 144 to the first in the middle. And friends, what that means, that means square root. So you can type square root in your calculator of 144, and that's going to give you 12.